I'll challenge him. Round number five. Okay, I'll accept his. So guys, round number five are against Foundport Scream. I'm just going to make sure this is the right list. It is. Because I played multiple of this color combo today. Let's move up to that 4-1 category, but I think this is going to be tough. We're on the play, which is good. Make Sword of Akaria better, which is a really important card in this matchup, I think. This is bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, Harsh was excellent, but not having any Primal is really bad because our hand doesn't actually do anything. Please don't high roll as high as your opponent did earlier. Revenge. I'm getting sick of this card. <laughs> Just because it seems that everyone keeps getting the high roll is not the low rolls. Uh, he has two reinvigorates as his only combat trick. I think my best bet in this matchup is to get my opponent to the high rolling st uh, not the high rolling. Uh, he has a pause, so it's protect or reinvigorate. Tell me, what do you There's a primal sigil. I think we're in a lot of trouble though, our hand just sucks. Like, I have Harsh Rule. And I'm gonna wanna blow it soon. I'm hoping he does more to this board. Alright. Well, if that's the draw, I think I'm just going to Wisdom. And I'm going to Wisdom right away. Because I would probably be willing to Torch something, or I'd rather cast Seek Power. Okay. This is not good. We've just drawn straight power so far. And no Torch either, like. Sure. I have enough removal in hand that I just want to, like, maybe see what he can do here. I also didn't know if that was protect or not, so he might have used it. I think it's reinvigorate. Trust in your skills. That's a problem. So I can kill two things. If he has a power, I think I lose. But gosh, this jar just didn't go anywhere. I think I have to just kill the most damage possible here. Wonder, did I have an opportunity last turn? What did I play Sigil wise? I played the crest. Oh, right, no. Because I was like, could I have gotten the armor? But I couldn't have. I know about reinvigorating his hand. I can't die to it yet, I don't think. Four, five, six, nine. Killer. If he has, like, double reinvigorate, we're dead. But yeah, we, we didn't draw anything this game. I think we lose to any duck like this. Maybe I can just rip some harsh rolls. Hopefully he uses Reinvigorate right now. Use it. Strike and Vanquish. Something. Okay, my opponent realizes he can kill me now, right? I'm 
Reinvigorate this and I die. Trust in your skills. Reinvigorate this and I die. Come on, don't miss lethal. Fuck off. <sighs> okay. We drew nothing. <laughs> we drew literal nothing. Let's get to the sideboard where we're going to hopefully find something useful. He's just, his board is removal. Do I want Rain of Frogs? I don't need this. I don't think these are good, but let's see. And there's not that much to hit, and I think post is cutting some weapons. I think these are bad. I think Throne Warden might be too bad. Like, what's it hit? Eh, no, it hits a few things. He just drew a lot of flying in that game. Enforcer's obviously good. Artisan might be worth cutting, although it does... Actually, no, it blocks too many things early. Uh, do I want all my storms? Do I want storm? Like, it hits Aegis, Aegis, okay, maybe Aegis. So it doesn't actually hit that many things. It does pop Aegis. I definitely don't want extra. I don't think I want Rain of Frogs. Um, what does he get? He gets Sabotage and Lightning Strike, probably. Definitely cutting at least one Throne Warden. Do I want Reforge? Reforge is going to be worse than Rise, so... And I think about cutting a Rise. I'm also considering cutting a Vanquish and an Akaria. I think Akaria is a safe cut. Like one, maybe two. Yeah, I think Akaria might be worth cutting completely. Yeah, she doesn't take over in this matchup, and he still has to leave ways to deal with it in. I think this is fine. I don't like my chances, though. Not after losing game one. I think this is a matchup I need to draw pretty well twice in. Now, the probability of that has kind of went down a little bit. He's on the play. This hand's quite good, though. This time we actually have power, so we're going to need to get a Primal most likely. But I can go play this and do nothing on turn 1. Uh, we don't need to seek, just in case we draw something. It does make drawing Strategize worse, but we still have a turn 3 weapon. Do you have Sabotage? Not that I know of. Now I definitely want Justice, I think, but again, just checking. I'm allowed to wait a turn. No Tranquil, which is nice. Alright. He has a Protect, I believe. I think that's the only fast bow he could have here. Uh, yes it is. Okay. So he has Protect. That's all I actually know. Uh, I don't want to develop anything, so we'll just play the Crest. And uh, Wisdom is going to be perfectly fine. We, we're going to have ample time to cast it. Shelter Wing Rider could suck here. That doesn't matter. If this is going to live either way. Is there anything that one kills that the other doesn't? No. So I'm just going to develop this for War Cries. Now we're in a nice spot. We also have card draw and we get a chance. We can answer most threats. If you play Sheltering Rider, depending on how much mana he has open, I might go... Okay. If he casts that, that tells me his hand is really weak. Like, I'm almost definitely just wisdoming this turn. Yeah. So I kill that, then I'll wisdom. Because I don't want to, like, Valk Enforcer and stuff here. I don't think that's worth it. Like, this weapon is not worth that much. Warcry 2, we'll draw now. In case we draw, like, Strategize. Cool. Decent Warcry hit, one that we can use. 
and it actually trades with Shelter Wing Rider, which is the biggest unit in this deck. Okay. Uh, do I want to make him protect this? I think so. Yeah. Because I can just come down, sort of Akaria him. Would I rather... Would I rather do this? No, I think I would rather Runehammer and potentially be forced to two-for-one myself. Um, because if he plays... If I put this to two health and then he played like a two-two... And then I have to lose my sword. Then I don't have a good answer to Shelter Wing. I'm probably rising for Daisho or Runehammer this game. Uh, let's rise first. This also might just be go get Akaria, but I... Oh, right. Did I cut Akaria completely? My brain is small. One second. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I will take a power. Just because my hand. I got all my Akaria's right. But it's not really doing anything, so I think it's just going to roll over and die. I'm not going to get aggressive and just play this die show. I think, well, it's a two-turn clock, and I can remove most things he does. No, because if he just draws like Lightning Strike, we're sad. In your skills. Okay. Hold. That was a good turn. That was painful. That really helps that up, but if Forcer kind of deals with this without making me lose a weapon. Okay. He has a pause, so protect, reinvigorate. Oh, this is so good. Uh, do I want to do I want to play around scream number two? I think so, and just leave this back. So now we just need to gain some life back with Throne Warden and then develop Sword of the Sky King. Might be in the opposite order if we draw power. Okay. That's a 4 5 attacking charge. Alright, we'll take it. Power, Underpleted power is probably our best draw. Not great. At least, oh wait, I can use the rune hammer here instead of the good weapon. That's nice. Because he's tapped out. We do know he has a fast bow. I don't know what it is. It's protect or reinvigorate. He hasn't given me enough information to tell you which. So if he attacks with this, though, I should put the enforcer in front of it because it deals with reinvigorate. Really? Okay. Well, I'm gonna chump. I'll chump here, and if he reinvigorates, it's like, whatever. And I think that's what it is. Yeah, sure. I still keep my weapon, which cleanly answers this, which is perfectly fine. He has so much life that I should not concern myself with die showing face. How many screams has he played? Two scream, two dark return? Like, that's the best thing in his deck right now, is those cards. I know that. Uh, if I draw power, I'm probably just going to play Sword of the Sky King or Die Show, and then just throw Warden it up. Well, I didn't, so I think I'm just going to... Play Throne Warden and Artisan and start killing him. I have enough life that I don't die to like a scream. There are some scary scenarios here. Like, if he does do scream, uh, 
Unseen Commando Scream, uh, not Unseen Hero of the People, that's in, that's a troubling situation. I almost die, I believe, if that happens, but he's already done that once. He'd need a second hero and a third Haunting Scream. Rise. I think I just want an Enforcer. Question is, do I want to play it out and just... I don't think so, but it's worth considering. To play around Scream. But Scream is only so good here. Ten. Alright, I have lethal. Alright, this game we actually drew stuff to do, and we won. Uh, did we see any sideboard cards? No. No, I didn't see any of his sideboard cards. All right, let's go to game three. Let's get that four and one, boys. Let's not get screamed like a meme. Alright, he's going first. That's really bad. This end's really bad. I don't know how good this hand is. <laughs> so, turn one, go get a Primal Sigil. Turn two, Artisan, or Strategize, depending on the game. That's a nice pickup. Is there a Protect? He does have a Protect. Okay. Good to know. If you play it's like Scholar, I'm definitely just going to play Artisan. I think most of the time it's right to play Artisan, by the way. Yeah, definitely right here. Please don't high roll me. Aegis. Really? Like, I feel like I'm playing fucking Hearthstone here. Like, every opponent we've played against is just high rolled. We've had Revenge, Double Aegis, we've had Charge, which was more than enough to win the game on a Warbearer Behemoth. Like, can, do people realize that there's bad battle skills? Is that possible? Do you have reinvigorate here? Because I'm okay with that. A problem here is if he plays like Commando that has Aegis. Like, I haven't drawn any weapons. I know about Protect. Like, I'm just gonna Wisdom. We also don't know what has Aegis, by the way. Quick draw, okay. Hey, guys. He did it. Someone low rolled a Tranquil Scholar. I didn't know it was possible. Thank you for enlightening me, Mr. Sif. <laughs> I'm a little salty about Scholar, sorry guys. I do not try to be a salt-heavy stream. Okay, I need an answer or not. More card draw. At some point, I want a weapon. Artisan's fine here, so I'm gonna toss a seek and just play Artisan because it can jump. It can chump the uh, the Crown Watch here. I don't care about the two two. One card in hand is protect, and he's missing power. For those who cannot. And he has the protection for it. Harsh roll. Okay. So what I want to do this turn is cast Wisdom Seek Torch. But I'm going to torch on his on my turn. Seek up a justice. Play the fire. Torch it now. It does mean I take extra damage, but I'm playing around him playing something that like gives it Aegis naturally. I guess, is that actually an argument? Tell me. Fuck you. This is annoying. I'm getting annoyed. Tranquil Scholar Aegis just winning this game. 
is the problem here, like... I mean, once I stabilize, we're probably done, unless he has Scream. Like, if he screams here, we're in trouble. Okay, no activation. So if I draw, like, Rune Hammer, I believe he's got the bottom. That's the last card. Oh my god. Am I dead? Wait. It gets Aegis back? That's not how that works. Can I draw a torch? No. That's not how that's supposed to work. That's a... I think that's a bug. Why didn't you just activate? I think it doesn't matter. I think we just drew so bad again that we're just gonna die. Uh... 